So I look at the best time, the best painting time, as creative time. I try real hard to not make a lot of decisions when I'm working on this scale and in watercolor. They um, um, take away the fun if I'm, if I'm thinking that I've got to produce um, just so-so. But that's how I came about doing faces and because I love people. I absolutely love people. I'm so inspired and motivated by people's stories. And so if you can if you can paint a face that says, I'm up for whatever, I'm going forward, nothing's going to get me down, you believe the face. You don't believe whatever it is that's, that's dragging you down. You are right there with that smiling face. That's the power of the smile. I had an aunt and uncle that really develop, helped me develop this because they bought me a, a sketch pad that said artist on it and I, I thought I was an artist because I had this artist pad and pencils and I stayed out of trouble when I was drawing. And that's continued throughout life. <laughs> I stayed out of trouble when I was when I was doing artwork. But I think that's one of the reasons why we need to keep art around our children. It, people, whether they like art or not, that didn't have anything to do with it. We need to it, go down I-35 and tell me you don't see art. You know, it's it's just of all the places. When the train when the train started uh, last March. Um, I really look forward to it because it gets me closer to my work, my office, and it took me a little while to recover because the movement on the uh, train is very, very different than the movement on the bus, and I developed the style that I'm doing on the bus, and so it really, the style couldn't change. I didn't want to let it change, so I had to work at it. Um, but I do have a, a new group of, of um, onlookers and, and people that um, really enjoy it on the train, so that part has recovered. <laughs> I think it's so important that the children not know how, but have something to work with. I mean, crayons, I keep them. I keep crayons here. Um, work out things with crayons. My art instructors were old school. I never did an oil painting or a pastel painting that I didn't first do in watercolor. They were all composition, thumb scale, thumbnail size paintings. I sat next to a lady on the bus for a year and a half. I knew so much about her. I found out three months after her husband died that her husband had died. I had been sitting with her on her way to work throughout all of that time. And it wasn't until one day I said to her, mm, you haven't said much about your husband lately. How's he doing? Found out that he had, he had died three months before. I received one of the sweetest notes from her when I started riding the train and her work situation keeps her on the bus. I get notes, handwritten notes, with every payment I get. And my favorite size is real hard to get. And that's the largest. Um, but the this, this synthetic is wonderful. It's very, very good, uh, high quality um, brush. Um, now my oil paint brushes, I'm real picky about and um, spend quite a bit of money on. But my watercolor brushes, the more expensive they are, the less I'm probably going to like them. <laughs> But see, that's my favorite size brush, and that, that holds a lot of color and a lot of water. And when I'm not going to carry my backpack, I'm just carrying the bag. So, and I love it when I have art on the outside of it and people see it and comment. I make a difference in people's lives, and that is my purpose. If I get about selling a painting, if I get about accomplishing a work, if I put my emphasis on anything but me being me and the best me I can be with other people, I lose it. I lose inspiration, I lose time, I lose energy, all of it. So that's how I came about the faces and I think maybe I got a smile. <laughs>